the question we'll be answering today is, is will a J-O grill fit on a JK? As you can see, they're quite different. This one's already been hacked up, so that might answer your question a little bit. Short answer is no, it doesn't fit. Long answer is, eh, we'll see. All right, so a quick look at the back of the grill. This is a JK, this is a JL grill. This is a JK grill. This one's already been modified. I've already done a lot to it. You'll see that in the video. Uh, but I didn't really go over the differences, the big differences, before I started hacking it up. I was kind of in a hurry. But here's the big differences. The headlights are actually a little bit narrower together on the, on the JK. These clips, some of them kind of line up. Uh, most of them do not. These clips don't line up. These obviously have turn signals in them. These don't. This grill tapers. Normally there's a whole section up here that's missing right now, but it tapers at the bottom. That's more of a square. Um, generally they're the same sizes, but not really. So as you'll see in the video, the uh, modifications that you have to make uh, just to go over them real quick. And so you either know to turn off this video or, or keep watching. Uh, you'll want to uh, have a Dremel with a plastic cutting bit. You're going to have to cut a lot off the sides. You're going to have to cut two of the clip holders off. You're going to have to modify these clip holders to clearance. And you're going to have to clearance a lot of the top up here. You're also going to have to clearance these headlight bezels if you have a grill with these type of headlight bezels. This is a Rubicon grill. On the front of your JK, you're going to have to cut these fins off that are uh, casting fins. Uh, doesn't really matter if you cut them off, but you'll you'll see these fins in the video. That's really all you got to do on here, except for one other thing. You have to widen out this notch, widen out this notch, and then you have to drill new notches right here. I didn't have a, um, a cutting bit that was the right size, so I just had to drill multiple holes. <laughs> kind of janky, but I was doing it at the lake where I didn't really have any tools. And that's not, oh, and you'll also have to drill new holes for these clips <clears throat> because the grill has to be pushed back as far as possible. These holes, these existing holes right here and right here, good to go. All right, so let's get to the video. So we're going to, uh, once you take the stock grill off, uh, to put that JK grill on, I think we're going to have to cut these two fins right here. So you got a fin right here. Right here, this is just your ambient air temperature sensor right here. This can just be pulled off and put somewhere else for the time being. Should just pull out, that should just be a little clip that pulls it out. The clips that go in here don't line up, but I'm hoping this is slotted enough for a couple of them to line up and I'll cut the rest of them off. If I can get about three of them to go in, then we'll be fine. Up here, uh, I'm not sure. We'll set it up here in a minute. We may have to drill some more holes to put these uh, body pins. They're just body pins, so I should be able to manipulate them. All right, we had to take the bumper off. Now let's see if it fits. All right, it's good. Bolt that bumper back up. All right, we're gonna tuck this ambient air temperature sensor right down there for the time being. Oh shit, Jack. Oh, there goes Corey's drink. <laughs> nah, I can edit that. He can edit that out. Spilling my drink. Alright, so I'm probably gonna have to trim some. I have to trim quite a bit. Yeah. No, this right here is holding it off. So it doesn't it's gotta go under this fender. Okay, well let's uh do some trimming and we'll get back. All right, so a lot of learnings. Number one, JL grills do not fit JKs, uh, but you can probably make them fit if you're not scared. Uh, so we had to cut out a lot of this top right here, all the way across. And I can't tell you how to do it because your Jeep may be slightly different. You never know, your grill might be slightly different. This is a Rubicon grill. You may not have a Rubicon grill, I don't know. So you're trying to sit up there and kind of mark it off and look and see where you gotta cut. This fender edge right here does not have the same shape as this fender edge. You see, we did cut a little bit right here, but the bulk of that fender edge will actually just come off with clips. But you can see I got the fins off. Yeah. Um, so there's gonna be some jagged edges that I'll have to go back and sand and, and try to pretty up. And there will be a gap, it looks like, on the bottom right here and over here if I, if I can get it to work. It does look like the lights are actually about a quarter inch wider uh, on the JL than the JK. The clips that hold the bottom of the uh, fender on or the bottom of the grill on uh, do not match these holes. 
So I've marked to cut new slots. We'll see how that works. And then I did have to trim these brackets. I had to trim these quarters out right here on these brackets uh, for it to fit around this edge right here on both sides. So uh, it is definitely not even close to a, a fit. You have to make it work. So we're gonna try to make it work. If it doesn't, then we'll just put the other grill back up and I'll, you know, no harm, no foul. But we're gonna make it work, I have confidence. So we're still trimming, I'm trimming slowly, a little bit at a time, you can see it doesn't really match up or fit down here. We're still gonna have to cut these corner off probably, which is gonna put a little bit of struggle right here. That probably should come off more anyway. Because right now when you close the hood, the edge of the hood comes down over this because this hood, this grill sticks up a little bit further. You can see the headlights are about half an inch off on each side. <clears throat> I think that can be solved by trimming out this ring right here and then painting this beauty, this, this holding, the trim ring black. And uh, you'll never tell if that's off. I'll obviously see it when I walk up to the Jeep, but from 50 feet, it looks pretty good. Still trimming, 90 minute job. Uh, we should be good. All right, I'm fixing to call it uh, the day for the day, but I've generally got it on here. Uh, there's still some challenges. Uh, it's definitely not a direct fit. Anyone that says they'll just pop right on is a, is a liar. One thing you'll want to do because the headlights, you can see the JK headlights are a little bit up and to the right as far as narrow. You're going to have to get it to where if you have this trim bezel, it sets up on top. You have to do a massive amount of trimming on the side. You basically have to trim it all the way off. I haven't finished this. Obviously, I'm gonna sand it down, make it nice and flat. And now I've gotta finish up this gap right here, which obviously doesn't line up because there's another trim piece right here. You can't be scared of trimming. When you're trimming up here, if you can figure out how to leave this hole, that's, that's what I should have done. I did not do that and that was a mistake. There's no actual hole there, but there's a piece of plastic you can actually put the hole in. It's gonna look kind of janky. You're gonna have to cut it in like a square. You're gonna to have to relocate these two. These are the only two that are close, but they're gonna to have to go a bolt hole back to get the hood up tight to where this piece is under that underneath the actual hood uh, to get the grill to go up tight. I've been taking off trim, take off trim, take off trim for about, I don't know, two hours now. Uh, there's no easy way to do it. I'm sure someone that's more skilled than I with uh, Dremel uh, probably will have a little bit easier time, but uh, it is a challenge. But it looks real good from 50 feet. You can see I had to trim this ring a little bit right here. I haven't sanded that down yet. That way it fits up nice and tight. But currently it's on there and it's not going anywhere. I'll show you what it looks like with the hood down. <clears throat> nice and tight, looks good, looks real good from 50 feet. Here's the challenge, and you're not gonna be able to fix this. This line right here on the JL hood is completely different than the JK's. JK drops off a lot sharper. Just is what it is. You're gonna have to deal with this body seam right here not quite lining up uh, unless you just really wanted to get aggressive with trimming and then trim it out with a piece of of door trim, which I, I'm not gonna do. I've got to drill some more holes since I cut these holes off. I'm gonna have to drill some holes right here and right here for more push pins uh, to keep that up and tight since I jacked that up. And then a black Sharpie to dress this up. And realistically, I'm gonna run it. If I wind up not liking it because it just doesn't look finished enough, I'll just go back and put my other JK grill back on. I didn't do anything as far as modifications that won't allow a JK grill to go back on. The only challenge I'm gonna have is my turn signals. Uh, I'm fixing to put some flat fenders on, so those turn signals are going away. I don't have any front turn signals. My flat fenders are gonna be up about this high. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an LED strip right here on this piece, uh, probably a three inch strip. And then it will be my front and my side marker. All right guys, so I have my new bumper back on and I did get a new bumper. I didn't really cover installing that because installing the bumper is simply taking eight bolts off and pulling the old one off and putting a new one on. So, uh, so putting a JL grill on a JK, here's some of the issues. I'm sure someone smarter, better at this than, than I am can figure this out a lot cleaner way. But the fact is, this curve's not going to line up because it just doesn't fit. That's fine if, if you can deal with that. I don't even notice it unless I'm looking at it. This down here is not gonna line up because this fender's held out with a, fender, with a bracket right here. Now, the only thing I could have done was change the mount at the bottom where those push pins go in, where I had to drill out those slots. If those push pins were a little bit shorter, that bottom would push in a little bit further 
and that might line up more. Not really concerned about it. But I'm standing five feet away, looks pretty good. 10 feet away, it looks awesome. And the further back you get, the better it looks, <laughs> which is dumb, but still. All right, so I'm back at the house now. And as I showed before, this the, is the finished product. Um, the only things that really bug me is this gap, as I pointed out. And I still have to paint these headlight rings black. I think that will take away from some of that misalignment there in the headlight. There are aftermarket versions of this. There's a Fiberworks version. It's like 700 bucks. There's a Flow, Flow something. It's a Florida company. Uh, they make about $700 version of this, $750 version of this. <clears throat> you can find these on Ali, on AliExpress from China, and they aren't the JK grills. They're JK grills with a JL skin on them, and they fit. They they all fit normal, but the shipping's like 500 bucks, so you wind up spending that six, seven hundred dollars anyway. As soon as someone starts importing them cheap, I have a feeling you'll be able to get a JK specific grill that looks like a JL grill for you know pretty cheap, a couple hundred bucks. This one was a hundred bucks. This fender actually comes loose right here and that uh hole right there see if i can get a better shot of that this hole in this bracket right here is slotted so you can actually push this fender in at the bottom to close that gap quite a bit i think if i trim a little more off the back side of the grill i'll be able to get this down flush right here and it will be an almost god it'll be real close it'll be so close it'll be real hard to notice i pushed that in quite a bit and you can see you can see how much this closed up compared to where it was. This won't match completely. It'll be about probably about where it will be, but this outside line will match great. Guys, here's the finished but extremely dirty JK grill. Uh, it has now gone about 800 miles between going down to Florida and back and it's done great. Obviously the fitment issues are still there, but it realistically you can't tell it on this black vehicle. If it was on a different color vehicle, maybe. I'm gonna put some body filler in here and sand that down and paint that black uh, so you won't notice that. I don't even notice this anymore now that it's been a few days. I wound up painting the uh, bezels uh, gray to match the, the rings and to match my inner fenders. It looks good with the new flares. Uh, it all fits just really well. The Jeep looks great, uh, I think. So guys, there's the answer to, can you put a JL grill on a JK? Yes, no, maybe. It just depends on what you wanna do and what you can live with as far as from an aesthetic standpoint. And you might be a lot better at all this body work than I am. So guys, I hope this video um, helps you make a decision on if this is right for you or if you just wanna wait on an aftermarket version. But guys, thanks for watching. And if, you, if this helps you, please hit like, uh, share, and subscribe and have a great day.